When it comes to Muay Thai, there are two championships that stand above the rest, the Lumpini Stadium Championship and the Raja Damnern Stadium Championship. Which is better is up for debate, but that's a discussion for another day. Both stadiums have had a limited number of non-Thais hold their titles. This is Nathan with Muay Thai Authority, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at foreigners, AKA non-Thais, that won the Lumpini Stadium Championship. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all our videos and smash that like button. The number of non-Thai Muay Thai fighters that have won the Lumpini Stadium Championship can be counted on one hand. There have only been five, four of them being French and one from Belgium. There haven't been many foreigners to get the chance to fight for the Lumpini Stadium Championship to begin with. Roughly 15 or so have competed for it, and only five have been able to have that prestigious belt placed around their waist. A lot of people assume Ramon Deckers was a Lumpini Stadium Champion because his name is synonymous with foreigners fighting in Thailand. And although the Turbine from Hell competed at Lumpini, in 1990 he challenged for the title but lost the decision to Isara Sakrari. The first foreign Lumpini Champion wouldn't come until 1999. Now let's get into the five non-Thais that won the Lumpini Championship. This will go in order from the first to the most recent. The first non-Thai to win the Lumpini Stadium Championship was Francis Murad Sari. The French Algerian Sari secured the 140 pound Lumpini title on May 8, 1999. Sari faced Som Chai Sor Nantana and was able to secure the win with a fifth round knockout. The history making moment defined Sari's career and afterward he would fight a few more times in Thailand during the King's birthday, but primarily competed in Muay Thai bouts throughout France and he would retire in 2008. The second non-Thai Lumpini champion would not come until nearly 13 years after Murad Sari. On February 10, 2012, Francis Damien Alamos was able to capture the 140 pound Lumpini championship. He defeated Kong Faf Udan Muang by decision to secure the Lumpini belt. He also became the first non-Thai to successfully defend the Lumpini championship. His first successful title defense took place September 7, 2012 against Aaron Chai Pran 26, a fight which he won by decision. He had a second successful title defense on July 2013 and afterward competed a handful of times before retiring at the age of 23. The third non-Thai to win the Lumpini Stadium Championship was, yes, you guessed it correctly, another French fighter. Rafi Bohe captured the 147 pound Lumpini Stadium title on June 17, 2017 with a decision win over Siri P.K. Sanchez Muay Thai Gym. Bohek would actually be the first non-Thai to capture the title twice because a month after winning it, he suffered a KO loss to non-Thai Crit Tor Morsi in a non-title fight at Lumpini Stadium. There is a rule that states that if a current champion loses by KO in a non-title fight at the stadium, he gets stripped of his title. After being stripped, Bohek once again captured the 147 pound Lumpini title on December 26, 2017 with a decision win over Simanut Sorsa Rinya. He would go on to make four successful defenses of the belt, with his last being a KO win over Manichai in 2019. He is currently still the 147 pound Lumpini champion. The fourth non-Thai to capture the title was surprisingly not French. It was Belgium's Yusuf Bougainham. He won the 160 pound championship on May 22, 2018, with a fourth round TKO win over Talia Tang Sortampe. However, his reign didn't last long as Yusuf's title would be vacated after he had not competed in Thailand since winning the belt. He had been fighting around Europe and even started his own promotion, PSM Fight Night. The fifth non Thai to win the title at Lumpini and the most recent entrant to the prestigious club is, yes, another French fighter. Jimmy Venoa captured the 160 pound Lumpini title on April 30th, 2019 against Talia Tong. Yes, the same Talia Tong Yusuf Bouganem beat to capture his Lumpini title. After Bouganem vacated the title, Talia Tong won it back. Jimmy Venoa won the fight by decision, but then lost the title five months later to Sagra Pichindi in his first title defense. Most recently, Jimmy Venoa made a successful MMA debut in September of 2021. So who knows if he's going to be back trying to recapture the Lumpini title. So as of now, a quick summary is there have been five non-Thai Muay Thai fighters to win the Lumpini Stadium Championship. Four of them from France, one from Belgium. Two of them have made successful title defenses. That's Damien Alamos and Rafi Bohik. And currently, Rafi Bohik is still the Lumpini Stadium Champion at 147 pounds. Lumpini Stadium opened its doors on December 8, 1956, and since then, only five fighters that are not Thai have been able to capture the championships. That makes their accomplishments that much more impressive. It's definitely an elite club to be a non-Thai who has held a Lumpini championship. 
Thanks again for tuning in and watching the video. We appreciate your support. Make sure to leave us a comment and let us know who you think the best non-title win the Lumpini Championship is. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Until next time, this is Nathan with Muay Thai Authority.